Hello. All right. Um, I can't tell. I think, well, we'll see um, when the eyeball pops up how many, how like glitchy it gets. But um, hello. Happy Monday. It is the 8th of March and tomorrow's my birthday. So um, I, for a gift to myself, I would like to get some more words done. Um, I would like to be done with, with act one by the time that my birthday is here. <laughs> um, but I don't know if that's going to happen because it's taking me a lot longer to um, figure out. So um, let me show you um, the, y'all tell me if the audio is, is out of sync because I know that um, that has been an issue with, even though it's not necessarily like super glitchy at the moment, um, the audio could be out of sync. So I know it gets better when I go to um, avatar mode. So y'all let me know if, if the audio is, oops, and it's just now telling me it's unstable. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I keep thinking maybe it's fixed. Maybe it's fixed. Um, so the card for the day is the peacock spirit. Let it shine. So this is a nice card, I think, to get after pulling yesterday's card, which was the lizard spirit. Um, so yesterday's was dream, essentially like create your own dreams, bring them into reality, and today is let it shine. So um, I'm gonna stop the camera now that I've shown you the image. So um, the peacock spirit says, let it shine. When was the last time you shook a tail feather? yearning for All right, I think I'm back. <laughs> okay. So, any time I think it's fixed, it's like, nope, we fooled you. Anyway, okay, so I'm not sure if you heard that last part, so I'll just repeat it because I thought it was fun. So, dance as if you remember that you are made of stardust and grace, filled with life giving energy and sparkling light. Your dance is one of a kind. Catch the light and help it to shimmer and dance in celebration of your good fortune of being right here, right now. The universe wants you to be joy joyful so that others may get up and dance along with you. So that is the card for today. With that good vibes, um, it, will be, uh, it will be a good day, despite 
being kicked out once already. <laughs> um, so, but I did read it when, uh, when there was the line of come out from the shadows. Um, I was like, oh, does that mean I'm not supposed to work on my main project today? Because he, he uses shadow magic or dark magic. Um, so uh, I'm going to, I think, spend the first sprint journaling, um, getting some brainstorming and sort of thing, I guess, kind of similar to morning pages, I suppose. I've already started, but I, I need to do a little bit more. So the first sprint for me is going to be kind of a warm-up sprint and is going to be spent journaling. And then I will decide whether or not I will um, work on my shadow project or not. <laughs> so Lizzie says, hey, and uh, you are planning to be playing some kids game for the stream and you need your childhood back. Ooh, which games were you trying to play? All the games are deleted. Oh no! And the replacements are boring. Oh no! You found a game you played in fifth grade. It took you about 35 minutes to find your account. Yeah, old passwords and stuff. That's confusing. It's one of the typing games with race cars. Oh, those are fun. And you used to be the worst in your fifth grade class. Now, since you write a lot, you are winning most of the races. You goofed up on two, but won the rest. Those are quite fun. Um, Despite not liking math, one of the few games that we were allowed to play in, like, the computer labs was, like, the math blaster and stuff. So everybody played that, including me, even though my math is terrible. Um, and then the typing games, yeah. I remember we had, I think, like, a version of Reader Rabbit on one of, like, the earlier computers that we had. Um... I guess it's kind of similar to like what leapfrog is now or something. Um, so yeah. Now oh, you're bombing the game, of course. Oh no. <laughs> Some days it's just like that. So yes. And I also wanted to know what y'all are working on today. I am going to do my best to kind of get through the majority of what I have left to fix act one. That way I can move my act one sticky note down on my Kanban board from rough to like done for my revisions because I've done the majority of act one. I just am working on the last couple of scenes. So Lizzie says, I'll be working on chapter 15 of WBYT and editing chapter 10 and 12. If you have time, Ooh, are you already done with 11 then? And Shadows Lair says, working on a chapter in your novel 24. And wondering why you have so many chain, uh, why you have so many chapters. Gotcha. Um, I don't know how many I have. I think I had 29 chapters total, like in the initial draft, but I had way, way more scenes that are all of pretty significant length. So that's going to be fun. <clears throat> Sarah says, hello, hello. Hello, Sarah. You finally made it into Act 3 in your revisions. Yay! You're doing Chapter 29 today. You are far, far ahead of me. Uh, but congratulations to you. That is amazing. And you have done so well. Because when did you start the revisions? It was not that long ago. Um, Lizzie says, I usually have 35 to 49 chapters in your book. Excellent. It's nice. More to read. Charlie says, hey, hey. And happy early birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and Megan says, hello, everybody. And thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it is me, Lizzie. Just any time I disappear off the screen, off of the screen, it is definitely my internet again. They still have not fixed it. So, <laughs> yes, I am back. Yay. Petra is here. Hello. Abigail is here. Hello. How are you? How is your new house? Are you loving it? And yes, long time no see. But I expect Abigail has been getting lots of work done. Elizabeth says, oh no, a little bit late, but never, but hello to everybody. Yes. Don't worry about being late. Come on in whenever you like. Lizzie says, I wish I could find the site with all the fun math games on it. Um, I would think that you probably could just like Google Math Blaster and find some sort of like knockoff version of it. 
I don't know if the real one is still available, but yeah. So, hellos. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Don't worry. Only how are you doing today? And Better Days Zellers are here. Hello, everybody. Um, Lizzie says, I'm done with chapter 11. That's when your characters become babies. Nice. Yes, perfect timing then. In, indeed. Hopefully that was the last of them. Um, and the rest of the stream will go nicely. So, chapter 13 has not improved. Sissy, mother bear. Word I can't say on stream. <laughs> Your cats are more mature than your characters. They acted a fool this morning. Nala jumped on you. I think that's what cats are just do, though. So, Netta says, hello. Welcome. And so, Lizzie is going to be gaming for the first sprint. Uh, yeah, there's probably a couple. A couple is still left in the stream, I'm sure. So, Sarah says, I started the revisions the first week of February, you think, but you took a full week off in the middle of the month because of weather. You feel good about the progress that you intend to edit slowly. I think you're doing fantastic because um, it takes me so long to get anything done. So I am impressed. Abigail says, the new house is wonderful, except we've been having incidents with coyotes lately. Oh no, you've got a pack near us. So no more going roaming on your land by yourself anymore. Oh yeah. Yeah. Charlie says, I just sent my new single, Have Mercy, to go out into the world. Pre-save links will be available here if anyone is interested. And there is the link. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charlie. That is awesome. And I look forward to hearing it. And Fleur Blues. Hello. You're eating lunch for the first sprint and then starting revisions for the first draft. Nice. And Charlie says, now I can get back to the outline. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I I mean, I hope we don't have to get used to them too much. You know, I'm hoping they will begin to fix them for us. But it is what it is. We're going to deal with what we've got and just be happy that we can write. <laughs> so, or at least that's kind of the vibe that I want to have. I do get frustrated. So, you know, we just, we try and roll through them. Okay. So we will do a warm up sprint first and then we will move into Pomodoro lengths or longer if y'all vote for a 30 minute. So 15 minutes for the first sprint. And don't forget to save your document if you've been working already this morning. Make sure that you have something to hydrate with. Go ahead and make sure that you are not hunching. Straighten up your spine, roll your shoulders back, and do a stretch if you need to. And make sure that if you need a snack, you get one. Take care of yourself as you are writing. We can now get started. 15 minutes in five, four, three, two, one, go!
<clears throat> okay. Um, how'd we do? That was the first sprint. Let me pop this. Switch the banner. Etc. Etc. Uh, so I think I wrote about um I wrote um 360 words that time. Um so I think I'm a bit at like 610 for today. Okay. So that was not a bad um first sprint for me. How about y'all? Do you feel like you made some progress? Got some stuff done? Um so Lizzie was practicing math and apparently CB is also having internet issues. So Devin suggested putting a mask around your computers in case it was contagious. Um, so yes, do not forget to save your documents um, in case it is indeed contagious. Uh, but, you know, save the documents, make sure you have a backup copy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so Kate L is here going to be doing some work stuff for about half of the stream, but had to stop in and said, say hi. And Devin obviously came in and said, howdy. And Tina is also here. Yay. And so let's see, talking about the B movie, which I have never seen. Um, Apparently there's a B game. Hmm. Did not know that. All you remember is playing in a world of bees. That would probably freak me out. Not going to lie. So I don't think I would play that game. <laughs> um, you know. So. And Lizzie won her game. Kate says organized some contract statements of work. Fun stuff. Sarah rewrote half a page. The chapter needs a lot of work. Gotcha. Netta says 96 words, not including the ones that you used on the B game. <laughs> so you also found the B game. Okay. Sheridan's Lair says, I actually quickly revised my blog post that you posted this morning because, oops, there were words missing from it. Oh no. Maybe, maybe you posted an earlier draft accidentally. Petra says 236 words. Nice. Very nice. Elizabeth says a lesson planning and commenting on some student work this evening. I opened a document and that is it. Sometimes that is how it goes. Fleur Blues says finished lunch. Picked up my draft but haven't started revising yet. Hey, but at least you picked it up. And just Eva says hey, hey. Here we go. Here we go. I popped in mid sprint, but you're just chilling, not working. Chilling is fine. Chilling is nice. Lizzie says Google deleted my comment again. What the heck? Um, are you on top chat or live chat? The um, upper left. Um, so if you may be able to switch to live and see your comment. Charlie says, I scheduled some social media stuff and then invested what the investigated what the dog was barking at. There are kids playing in the street. How dare they not get the puppers permission first? Oh no. Um, so speaking of puppers, my brother's family just got a new dog so it's their third their so they have three right now um one is quite a bit older and has some health problems so i suspect they're kind of um anticipating 
a sad event, but um, the the new pupper looks just like my brother's first dog, and so they have named <laughs> they have named essentially this new puppy um, as a junior <laughs> after the first one. It's very cute. So, Stacy just made it! Yay! Uh, Charlie says, just Eva, yeah, but you accomplished a lot over the weekend, so you earned chilling. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I do not know what Google or hmm, I don't know. Um, the FU might be the problem. Uh, because I do know that Google has some automatic filters uh, for things that it thinks are swear words and stuff. So that might be the problem. So, but who knows? I don't know. I do not understand everything that Google does um, or that YouTube does. So does that to you sometimes? One time you think it was because you wrote damn, but otherwise you have no, yeah, because sometimes I have not really set, I've set a couple of filters for some really nasty words, um, but that is not one of them. So I don't know. Yeah, you might want to switch to live chat instead of talk. Um, you have one more session to tidy things up tonight with project, but for now you chill. And then soon you will go and play out in the sunshine. Very nice. I like some sunshine occasionally. Megan says, I was playing some games. But now I'm ready to work. All right. Um, so we will also get to a chat. But not a chat. We will get to a sprint very soon. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is the reason why. Yeah. Yes. So. Maya is here. Hello. Could also be the all caps. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It could think you're a bot because of the spacing and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. It's confusing. And I do not know. I do not understand. Um, so I'm going to set us up for another sprint. I do not know what, um, okay. So Lizzie, I would suggest you switch to live chat rather than talk. Um, so yeah. Okay. Um, one, save your document. Two, make sure you're drinking something. Three, straight your spine, roll your shoulders back. And four, if you need to walk around your house or a snack, please make sure that you are taking care of yourself as you are writing. And let's get started. 25 minutes. This I need to switch from chat break to second sprint. There we go. Brain. And we are now ready. In five, four, three, two, one, go.
Okay, that was the end of that sprint. I um, had a stray thought and then decided to do a, a little bit of research. So I was taking notes for that and I got uh, one, two, three, Okay, so I got about 400, is that three? Was that 400 or 300? One, two, three, four, 400 words. Um, okay, brain, hello. Um, so part of what I was researching had to do with um, the cost of printing my manuscript for future revisions and such. Um, because when I had initially started looking for printing my uh, first draft of Project Gray off at that point. It was, I think it was still um, gravely mistaken or whatever I wanted to call it. I don't know. Um, so it was, um, when I initially started looking at it, I looked at Staples and Office Depot and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it was just so outrageously expensive. And then when I watched Kate Cavanaugh's um, vlog on when she was printing out her Meridian maps, um, she showed the screen of, I think it was Staples, where she switched it from color to black and white. And I was like, oh, did I even remember to do that when I had looked at it previously? And I don't think I did, which I think is part of the reason why it was still so expensive. But... Um, my first draft wound up being 234 uh, Microsoft Word pages, essentially. So if I plugged that number in just to kind of see what the price range was, for me, it would have been somewhere between $30 and $33 before taxes. Um, just to get it like coil bound or spiral bound. So I was like, you know that's still kind of expensive. And so then I was looking at um, a site that I had previously used to get like a few copies of um, a collection of, of a couple of short stories that I did just for myself and my family. And so, um, and that was lulu.com. So I don't know how many of you have actually seen Lulu. Um, so I want to show you all a couple things. Um, I I'm not in any way, shape, or form affiliated, paid by, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I just wanted to show you a couple things because I think it, I might be able to use it as a sort of printing hack next time. So that being said, I will show you that in just a minute after I see how everybody did. Um, so um, Devin was saying hi to mom. Oh, yeah, Lizzie was saying that she's not a blot, a bot. Um, and Heather is here. Happy writing. Yay. And Kate is here. 170 words of actual writing. Something of a miracle these days. Yes, I know that feeling. So uh, Elizabeth says one lesson down and one more to go. And then comments, comments, comments. Yes. Yes, indeed. Sarah rewrote most of a page. Yay. Netta says, I think I got something like 480 words that time, question mark. Are you astounded at your awesomeness or are you questioning your math skills? Uh, Megan says, I made a stressful phone call. Oh no, that you've been avoiding. Then you calmed yourself down by browsing Twitter. If that works, then that works. But yay for you for making that phone call, even though you didn't want to. Because that, that feeling, I know, is, is just ugh, yuck. So Petra says, 347 down and a little water break. Yay! Yes, indeed. I have finished my glass of water, so I will need to go refill it at some point. Elizabeth says, I have a grand plan of using the copier at work and pay zero dollars when your second draft is done. Mwahahaha. <laughs> yes, and that's exactly, I think, that's essentially what I did. I used my regular printer at home and just... Um, I spent like 15 minutes hole punching it. In fact, I think I did that on a live stream. <laughs> um, so it was quite fun, but um, it was definitely cheaper than um, 
going to the store and getting it done. So, but it just as future options, I might pursue what I'm going to show you all in a little bit. Um, so Heather says, I forgot to say hello until you said something. You've been here for a few minutes prior to the sprint ending. That is okay. You started to write Instagram message to a couple of clients you're supposed to be working with soon. So social media and contact networking. Charlie says, continuing to work on the outline. I've learned how to use the attribute features in Plotter to make your scenes better. So you are updating what you already have. Ooh, very nice. Yes, and just Eve says, congrats on facing that call, Megan. I hate those, yes, absolutely. Um, Shana Zaire got 156 words that time. That's excellent. And Heather says, also DM to possible. Let's hope it doesn't kick us out again. Fleur says, got about half the, half the first chapter revised, then had a package came and got distracted. Today is one of those days that you're struggling to keep on task. Yes. Yeah. And that's sometimes when sprints help is when you just, you're just like, I have X amount of time. I'm going to set everything else aside and just focus on this one thing for this sprint. Next sprint, I'll do something else. But yeah. So just Eva says, I got outdoor world clothes on. Oh, nice. <laughs> Instead of pajama pants and relaxed clothes and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Okay. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop that share screen and then I'm going to reshare if it will let me. Share screen. Okay. And I think um, I think just the Chrome tab is fine. Okay. And I think I will also make it like full, full, full screen so you can see it. Okay. So this is on lulu.com. And so they are a um, printing and binding company that... Um, I have used before a couple of times for just myself and then for the creative writing club that I ran at the school that I was teaching at. Um, and so they're perfect. Which is there. Oh no. Um, okay. Y'all let me know if you can still hear me. Um, but so the, the better paper, of course, is more expensive, but if you just want to use this as a way to print um, a spiral bound version of your, or a paperback version of your um, manuscript for revisions, et cetera, et cetera, it's actually cheaper than going to um, Office Depot or Staples. So as I said, for 234 pages, it would have cost me about 30 bucks. Um, 30 to 35 bucks to have it bound the cheap way um, at the Office Depot or Staples. They're within the same price range. So if I come into Lulu and I select print, um, like print a hard book or I could do hard hard cover or paperback. Goodness gracious, I can't talk today. You can also do other kinds of things, but for right now, I'm just looking at printing the book. So it kind of guides you through, and, and they have different book sizes. So there's a little drop down menu here um, where you can choose your different um, sizes. And I don't know if it's it doesn't look like it's showing up. Um, okay, so if I choose. Why is the pop down not showing up? I don't know. Anyway, okay. If I choose pocketbook, um, you will see the dimensions on it. So these dimensions are just slightly, slightly larger than a mass market size. So I measured one of the multiple, multiple mass markets that I have on my bookshelf. And so my mass market is um, one eighth of an inch skinnier. And also just a, about that same length 
shorter than what these dimensions are. So these this is the closest size-wise that they have for a mass market. So if you want to know what your book would look like in mass market format, um, you could order one here to see if you like it, like a proof copy type thing. Um, they also have the like US trade say, size, they have um, all kinds of other things. So they've got like A5s, they've got, um, so they're arranged, I, I don't know why it's not letting you see the um, drop down menu, but anyway, so the largest that you can get appears to be the A4 landscape, because you can also do it landscape versus portrait. Um, so this appears to be the largest in that they will do within this category. They You might be able to do bigger in photo books and stuff, but then you would also run a higher cost because they would be printing it on different types of paper. So anyway, if I chose a trade size paperback with 250 pages, because I'm going to have to add some scenes so I know that. So I'm just estimating, eh, we'll call it 250 pages. Then I want to come down and make sure the type. And because I'm cheap, I'm looking for black and white. Oh boy, here we go again. Um, I'm just looking for something that I can see and hold and then revise. So I'm going to ignore everything that says premium and just go black and white standard. Uh, um, I say that and then it clicks the premium one. So black, black and white standard. And then I come down and, oh, uh, the little green book and the world image thing apparently means it's available for global distribution. So that's a bonus too, if you want to consider that. Um, cream or white. There does not seem to be any sort of difference price-wise between them. The coated white, I think, is a little bit more expensive. But either way, I'm just going to pick cream. Um, I could pick white, but whatever. It's fine. So you have these options of coil bound, hardcover, paperback, and that has linen on it. So it's more expensive. If I choose the paperback, which I know is the quote unquote perfect binding, it's actually cheaper than coil bounding. So I'm just going to show you the paperback is um, when I come down here, I can choose glossy or matte for the cover finish. So if I want it shiny, I choose glossy. If I want it matte, I choose matte. There does not seem to be a price difference between these two. And so it gives you the measurements, et cetera, et cetera. You can download templates if you want. I'm not going to do that right now. What I'm interested in is this right here. It costs $6.25 to print it. Okay. Then I'm going to have to come down and I have to put in how many copies I want, where do I want it shipped. You do get a price discount for the printing the if you are doing a bulk order. But then on the other hand, your shipping price also goes up. So if I just want one copy printed to myself to be a revision copy, it's going to be an additional $5 to mail it to me as the cheapest. But I can still track it at this cheapest mark. So that's good for me. So I come down. This is my pre-tax. And I know that my tax is like $0.08. Cents. So um, I just multiply this price by 1.08 and I get a price of around $12. So if I get a, instead of going to Office Depot, I just plug in my manuscript in here and I get for less than half the price of what Office Depot or Staples would, I get a paper bound version of my <laughs> book, of my manuscript. So I'm like, you know that's not so bad plus they have this little calculator if you decide to go with them for printing um and you can see sort of like what your minimum price would be to print it and then what you should um sort of list it for and you can actually list it through them they are a distributor um so yeah so there this is another website that is optional for like print on <sighs> I don't know if they do print on demand. I don't think they do. I think you would have to like order a bulk and then, you know, that kind of stuff. But they do have like a bookstore where 
you essentially can put your ISBN available and so people can buy it through here as well. But as an option, this is great. And even, even if I bound for the, um, the revision process. So I got to go back. I just now switched it from paperback to coil bound. And then again, um, it's going to take a second to recalculate. It's $8 to do the spiral bound. So again, you come down, you make sure that your, your mailing price is still the same tax price. So if I add another, you know, if I do the math again, it's another like a dollar or so. So yeah, so it wound up being like 14 bucks. So that's still just slightly less than half the cost of going to Office Depot or um, Staples. So I just wanted to mention this to you. I mean, <laughs> again, <laughs> like I'm not in any way, shape or form affiliated with Lulu, but I have used them before um, and they are decent. So if you just want something that's slightly cheaper than going to Office Depot or all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and again, like this is this is also a definite awesome thing as well. If you are just doing the revision process, you can totally make the font smaller to make your pages uh, fewer and that will bring the cost down even further. Yes. So um, that is that is the thing. Like there are, <laughs> there, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's dangerous to let Megan know about this, uh, this website. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, it really is very affordable. Um, I used this when I did a bulk order of, um, uh, of, what do you call them? Um, the Creative Writing Club's uh, journal, essentially. Uh, I got together with my students and we spent like all semester collecting their work and work from other students who wanted to put together a little book essentially um, for the Creative Writing Club. And we had some of the artists from our school as well. Um, and so we put it together and it was less than, I think it, it worked out to be less than $5 per book. But because it had um, artwork in it, we had to go with the the more expensive color printing. Um, so that brought the price up. But still, it was, I think it was around like 54 pages or so. A little 54-page um, book, color printing. It was less than $5 each. Um, shipping was kind of expensive because I got like $100. Um, but, you know, it was it was doable. And so this is definitely an option for um, for printing your revision process that is cheaper than some ways you can do it. This is definitely not cheaper than just like sticking a ream of paper in your printer and doing it yourself. But if you don't want that, if you want the, the experience of like having somebody else hand you your book like already put together, this is a really cool way to do it. Um, okay. So now I'm going to stop, <laughs> stop, stop touting um, the Lulu for you. Uh, so again, that's lulu.com. And uh, I will just, you know, pop this in here in case you want it to play with. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Now let's, now that I've been chatting for far too long, um, let's do another sprint. Okay, I think I've got this shared now. Hit the reset button, yes. Okay. So I'm sure that some of y'all are gonna just go play, <laughs> um, play with Lulu now, but that's okay. Um, all right, third, or is this the third? Yes, I think this is the third. Okay, 
So 25 minutes, don't forget to save your document, make sure that you are hydrating. I'm gonna have to go get some water to sprint and make sure that you are not hunching, straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back and make sure that if you need that walk around or if you need a snack from the kitchen, you make sure you are taking care of yourself. Okay, those are your reminders. We can now get started. 25 minutes in five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh.
Okay. How did that sprint go? Um, um, I would like to finish this sentence. Um, There we go. I think that's a nice way to hopefully end the scene. And then I can begin the next scene with the morning. It turned out to be a lot longer than I thought it would. What? Okay, I guess. I don't know. I think because... This was still a, a first draft of this scene. So yeah. Um, but anyway, so I got 420-ish. Um, 426 words. So. Not too bad. finally in my uh, one product so, um, that is finally getting to the main part of what I went, wanted to work on today. Um, so that was nice. So I'm now at 1,446 words for the day. Um, so I still have quite a bit more that I want to accomplish today. Um, so I will be continuing to work this afternoon. Um, while in in the other in the chats of other streams so that's one of what i am hopefully going to be doing um so let's see how y'all did um lizzie waited for 30 minutes then turned out the family was not doing something together after all so you are back okay excellent and heather says i got my big important direct message finished size and satisfaction I also communicated with others online. Yay! Netta says, only 303 that time, but a very are healthy. <laughs> Kate says, 236 for me and finished the scene that you were working on. Very nice. And Megan says, I played for a data entry job. Fingers crossed. Then you looked for more jobs to apply to. Excellent. Tessa says, making book covers for your series before you have to give up your Canva Pro. Moving to assisted living sometime in the near future. Mm. Well, hopefully the move goes smoothly and that way everything will be easier for you, hopefully. So Elizabeth says, another lesson down gonna use the next hour to write some comments and then relaxing with some grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is awesome. Charlie says, not productively <laughs> is how that sprint went. You discussed how to build a dock in Valheim with the hubby and replied to some emails. You need to find focus. In other words, the hubby playing the game <laughs> so you can work. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, Lizzie says, I looked on Amazon for stationary stuff. Ooh, that's a rabbit hole too. Yes, so expensive. You should go on a Walmart shopping spree with your dad one day. Dads are great for, hold for you know, that kind of stuff. So Megan says, I'm sorry to hear that. I know it's something you've worked hard to avoid. Yeah, it is. It's hard to let go of, of being independent. Um and that stinks. So, Shadow Slayer says 229 that time. Nice. And Fleur says time flew by that sprint. Got into the zone and got a decent chunk of revising done. Yay! You're going to go take a bit of a break to exercise and reset your brain. And then you will continue. 
Very nice. Very nice. Lizzie says, I'm getting a strawberry protein bar. You've been chewing on strawberry gum. So yes, the strawberry is back. Very nice. Yeah, can't avoid it altogether. It's better than her nursing home at least, but no money since they take all the disability check except for about 50 months, $50 a month. Ooh, that's expensive. Yeah. Your dad is the only person who likes to leave the house. Well, I mean, you can't really blame him in the middle of a pandemic for for everybody wanting to stay in because it's healthier for everybody. But yes, yay strawberries. Absolutely. 716 new words in the novel today, says the Shadows Lair. That is great. All right. Um, well, it is just before three o'clock. So, um, yeah. So, okay, Devin's playlist. Let me put that in the chat. Copy. Paste. Maybe. Okay. So, Devin's playlist is now in the chat. Um, and I'm glad that a few of you uh, had either heard of Lulu or... Uh, we're like, oh, that seems like a decent option, um, because that was fun to kind of talk about. Um, I don't know if, if, like, there might be kind of, there might be a tutorial, like a follow along on Lulu somewhere on AuthorTube, maybe. I don't know. If there's not, let me know and I can make one, I guess. Um, and uh, what else? What else? I don't think I will be doing a pop-up stream tomorrow for my birthday because it's very likely that we have company. Um, and so I will be putting my primary attention on like here and now spending time with the fam. Um, but I have convinced my mother uh, to make the almond, uh, the butter almond pound cake for me for my birthday. So oh, yay, that is going to happen. So I will have a delicious pound cake for my birthday tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. Um, and then I will be back on Wednesday for more sprints. And then Friday again. And then this weekend, don't forget, is the Worldwide Write-A-Thon. Um, I still have not found a playlist for Worldwide Write-A-Thon. Um, so if y'all have a link for that, just, you know let me know where it's at. Um, so yeah. Okay. I think that's all my brain can handle for the moment. I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to head off and then, so I know there are several people streaming, uh, today and this evening. So that's going to make me getting the rest of my words in a lot easier because I cannot seem to function without sprints anymore. So yay. Okay. Um, and Devin does have the Instagram for the worldwide write-a-thon. Um, the schedule. Yeah. The schedule is there. Uh, I have not seen a, I know the schedule is there, but I've not seen a playlist yet. So we'll see. Um, okay. Brain. I think that's it. So goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Farewell. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I won't sing that because I can't sing it on tune. All right. Bye, y'all. I'll see y'all soon.